Oh lord, copyright music here with Street Speed. It's been a while, man. Oh, lord. I mean, it's been oh, lord. like two whole videos, I think. It's been longer it's been, than that. It's been a couple videos now. It's, it's probably been about 10. You guys don't like seeing them on my channel for some reason. I'm awful. Well, I think they love and you. And ugly. They hate seeing me on my channel. I think that's the problem. Well, my channel, they hate me. We're rolling out, though. We're in the TRX. About to go see another truck. It was almost my truck. That big guy there is eating her McDonald's. Oh, yeah, the McDicks. Uh, but it's now Mike's truck. He wants it. Because I guess you're you're just Team Ram. You were here first. I can't go step yeah, in I was here. here first. So that's fine. You're not that's ready right. for a... Is that, did you say what it is yet? No. Oh. But that's fine. You got. You want to tell them? You're not ready for the, a big truck yet. Cut you that. Got your little I'll truck. bleep it. You got your little truck. You're not ready for a... You're not ready for it, dude. You're not ready yet. Well, I'll tell you what I am ready for. You're not ready. My next car, which I'm going to clip back to his reaction. I'll tell him here in a second. You guys get to see it. Could someone tell me what is on the back of his uh, Suzuki Samurai here? Is it a welding rig? I thought it was a freaking lawnmower attachment because there's like an arm on the left that goes up and down. Which, obviously, that's not what it is. But I guess welding? That might be what it is. I don't know, but that's insane. Very cool off-road rig. So we're at here at Whitmore with Mike's TRX. Like I mentioned earlier, his new truck which is right over here it was going to be mine it's the ignition edition trx in halloween orange i forget what they call this if it's ignition orange or something like that we couldn't see it because it's hidden in with all the other construction vehicles here i mean this thing is like in its natural habitat right now oh my god man i should have got one oh i know that like i regret it right now look at the orange stitching the orange now they haven't locked we'll get it here later in the interior view but like just the fact that I could have had this, there was an opportunity to get this. I had other dealerships reach out. Uh, I turned them down because I want to get the Silverado ZR2. I just feel like that's the vehicle I need to get. But wow, man, the TRX Ignition Edition. Once they get 37s on this, I'm sure Mike's going to mod this up a little bit. Uh, and he may take this over his current TRX. We'll see how it goes. I mean, he loves that truck, but this is the same exact truck, just like a special edition. And I'm all about the special edition trucks. Uh, whenever it comes to stuff like a limited edition anything like that because it's like not only is it a special vehicle but you have a special edition of a special vehicle so weird little jump cut here we're back at the house so i have some private time with the trx ignition edition some things i weren't able to show you the uh like the data plate here where they have all the stuff like the the motor that's in it horsepower stuff like that is an orange print which is pretty sick obviously you have the orange inlay stitching uh carbon fiber all that stuff of course still the black emblems and everything this is what i wanted inside of my truck was like the piano finish sort of it's i don't even know it's like an onyx type finish for all of the uh material instead of the shiny chrome that you see up here this is what's all over my uh my truck which not really chrome but more of like a brush nickel um which isn't so bad the chrome on trucks definitely need to go but yeah that piano finish everywhere so beautiful other than that all you're getting is a pretty cool paint job some nice stitching some carbon fiber for about nine thousand dollars more msrp which is a little crazy but not too crazy the thing that is crazy is that people are spending about thirty thousand twenty thousand more than msrp to get these vehicles right now so that means to get the carbon fiber the special paint and the inlay stitching and the little accents here is costing some people thirty thousand dollars more than a regular ram trx which is already hard enough to get i cannot wait for what mike has planned for this i hope that since this is his second trx in his possession he takes this one out and actually off-roads it along with my truck i think that'd be sick the orange and the hyler yellow can be a perfect match i also want to i hope karen walks by while i have this for a couple days poor karen i think maybe i should take it easy on her for the holidays what do you guys think no that's not happening because you will not believe what did happen just three days ago karen part four and the final karen saga because after this the police are getting involved there's no more beating around the bush karen is i i am going to probably be pressing charges after this one uh so we have to see here i got to talk to the police it's ridiculous i don't want to hype it up because it's just it's so stupid what continues to happen here so you guys be on the lookout for that they'll probably be the next video here so back to my next car that we're gonna get i'm very excited here in hershey pennsylvania we got the old chocolate factory over there you can see like the smokestacks they say hershey on and that's where uh and those are the cocoa bean like towers that they used to house all the uh cocoa beans for the chocolate but this is a theme park here we have the kissing tower it's like a big observation ride my favorite roller coaster in the park this black one right here is the great bear we have sky rush that yellow one candemonium's over there in the background this blue one is super duper looper i think they have what is it like 16 roller coasters at this park i mean it's insane and they're expanding like crazy so very 
very crazy growing up in such a small town but having such a monstrous corporation right in your backyard. But enough beating around the bush. I've led you guys on long enough to figure out what my next race car build is going to be. Heard some great guesses. Uh, Mustang was one of them. Obviously the C8, the C7, uh, the Camaro even. There was all these guesses across the entire spectrum. I don't think anyone got it right, but I feel like it's going to be a fan favorite. Only problem is this is going to be a long-term commitment because it's very expensive. I did not go the cheap routes. We're going balls to the wall here. Probably going to have this race car build for about three years whenever it finally comes out. Uh, so I guess that kind of gives it away. Here it is. Not the C7 Z06, obviously, but this one is sick. This is the giveaway at InShaneDesigns.com. You guys can enter right now down in the description. Check it out. Now is your time. It's your time to win something big. Every one of our previous winners said that they have never won anything in their life, and I'm sure you are saying the exact same thing. So I want you to receive this Corvette Z06 on Christmas morning. All you have to do is go down in the description and click the very first link. Buy anything from my tab, whether it's a t-shirt, a mug, a poster, a sticker, a key tag, anything that you see on that tab automatically enters you to win this beautiful supercharged Z06. Change your life. I'll see you on Christmas Day. So the C7 Corvette, was it on my mind? Of course it was. It's a lot cheaper. Well, even though car prices right now are insane, it was a heck of a lot cheaper than the vehicle I'm going with. And that is the C8 Z06. But I gotta admit, this sounds pretty sick. This one does have an exhaust and a few modifications, obviously, as you can tell, with the insane interior. I think this is called Fire Red. I, I think it's what Neighbor Rich has. Of course, the carbon fiber inlay, and then Shane has a wrap on it because it has a, uh, it's originally white, so it's like the candy cane style here for Christmas season. Santa Slay Red, definitely a beautiful, beautiful car. It's a little wet out right now, so I don't wanna go out ripping this thing. But yeah, I, how do you guys feel about a C8 Z06? I've been talking about it. I've been talking about just getting a regular C8, and now to go with the Z06, because it's finally coming out. Um, I just feel like it's such a good decision and it seems like Corvettes and all cars as of right now are holding their value So it might not be that big of a hit. I take on depreciation You know what I mean? I say that until we modify the crap out of it to make it faster to go to Pocono Raceway Slipstream and stuff like that to race it So we'll see it's unfortunate that they don't make the C8 in a manual because I'm definitely gonna miss this It's, it's weird. I like I was scared of shifting or a manual transmission rather, just two years ago. And now it's like, not that I would prefer it, but it's just a lot more fun. You know what I mean? And everyone's been saying that, that's old news that a manual transmission, if you know how to drive it, is a lot of fun. Just makes it a little more uh, intense whenever you're racing. Try and shift with the camera though. That is uh, not fun. That's third, that's seventh, that's third again, that's fifth. There we go, fifth gear. <laughs> Yeah, holding this giant like GoPro gimbal here and then trying to grab the shift knob, not as easy as it looks. <laughs> the reason I'm down here in Hershey is because we're about to grab some roller shots of this with Alex the Spangler and Sweet Sweet 717. Appreciate him letting me borrow this for this video. You know, the more I think of this decision, the more I know that the audience is probably upset. I'm sure there's comments down there already that's like, the Z06 doesn't come out for two years. What are you saying? You're going to get this and it's two years away? You can't possibly do that. But my problem is that I'm getting a Silverado ZR2 coming in June and I can't buy a $100,000 plus Z06 right now along with, God only knows what the ZR2 is gonna be $70,000, possibly 80 even. So I'm trying to just make my money last so that this channel can still be new, refreshing, stuff like that. Uh, and then we will also, we're looking to get like an OBS Chevy build going so we don't have to tear up the Silverado ZR2 as much as we had the Colorado ZR2. We're definitely gonna send it, just not nearly as hard as we've sent the ZR2 Colorado. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. I'm pretty close to 16,000 followers on that. I want to thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. We finally hit it, so we're on our way to 100,000. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's been unreal, especially these past few months. Ever since I quit my job now, it feels like YouTube has really taken off. Uh, the views have been great, so I'm, I'm glad you guys are engaged with the content, stuff like that. So uh, next video, Karen, unfortunately, you guys are probably going to love it. I hated it. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. If we can get 4,000 likes, I'll release the care video immediately the second that that happens. I know that's a tall order, but if you guys can do it, that'd be much appreciated. The C7 Z06 giveaway is going on right now down in the description. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I want to hand one of you the keys on Christmas morning. Again, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys next time. Karen, we're coming for you.